The NYPD is promising to release body camera footage of a police shooting in a Brooklyn subway station. Two innocent bystanders were injured. One of them, 49-year-old Gregory Del Pache, remains in critical condition. And as Alicia Reed reports, protesters flooded train stations once again tonight. Demonstrations for the second night in a row. Protesting a police shooting at the Sutter Avenue L train station Sunday afternoon that injured two innocent bystanders, a suspect, and a police officer. Demonstrators started in Union Square, then marched to the West 4th Street subway station. People can be seen jumping the turnstile as an NYPD officer stood by. Multiple people were later taken away in handcuffs. Police say Sunday's shooting started when 38-year-old Darrell Mickles jumped the turnstile at Sutter Avenue. They approached him, told him to leave, and he complied. But they say he returned with a knife. The second time, he entered through an open gate. They followed him onto the platform, and in less than two and a half minutes, they say the chaotic scene unfolded. 38 times he said to drop the weapon. They deployed the taser. Police say the taser was ineffective. He pulled these directly out of his body. He froze up and pulled them out. They claim Mickles wouldn't drop the knife, and as it got more heated, officers say they were forced to open fire. A 26-year-old woman was shot in the buttocks, and 49-year-old Gregory Delpash was shot in the head. He was on his way to work. He was hard working. Uh, he's been with the uh, Woodhall Hospital for 20 years. And there's no reason why he should not make it to work. Del Pash remains in the hospital. Family members say the NYPD was negligent. But police say. And our prayers go out to the families. This is fast moving, fast paced, and a stressful situation. And we did the best we did the best we could to protect our lives and the lives of people on that train. The NYPD says body camera footage will be released in the coming days. They say there are 15 cameras at that station and also cameras on the train that captured the entire incident. Alicia Reed, CBS News, New York.